One of the wonderful things about Queensland Music Festival is when we visit a place a number of times and we get to see the growth and the building and capacity in that place. I don't think that's happened anywhere more than Mount Isa. Tonight, we've seen our own local people joining with world-class professionals. This is what the Queensland Music Festival has done for our city. And our people don't just come as observers, they participate in the arts. I think the most important thing for us is it's a sense of community, a sense of unity, and you're, you're here with like-minded people. It's a very long way to go to the coast, it's a long way to go and see a show and um, we're well known for making our own fun and that's what we did tonight. We came up to you know, see the surrounding environment and to meet people and, and uh, hear some of the local ensembles play. So it was at that point they said to me, okay, now you've heard everything, now you've seen the town, now you've seen the beautiful landscape, go forth and write something for orchestra and chorus and James Morrison, Ian Cooper and Amber Hammond. Uh, you know, make something of it, and uh, and you know that was that was the beginning of it. Of course, a project the size of Mount Isa celebrates doesn't happen without a lot of collaborators, and first amongst those is the Mount Isa City Council, who have been behind Queensland Music Festival since we first came to Mount Isa. Another long-standing partnership is with Mount Isa Mines, who have always supported the growth of culture and music in the city. We also had some wonderful musical collaborators for Mount Isa Celebrates. Gordon Hamilton came with members of the Australian Voices and he also workshopped all of our singers that were in the performance. We had members of the Queensland Symphony Orchestra coming and doing workshops leading up to the performance and then joining in with the orchestra. And of course we had the wonderful Sean O'Boyle who came all the way from New York, a Queenslander, to come and conduct the Symphony of the Inland Sea for its premiere performance. to prepare it uh, with the orchestra and with the soloists and then present that to an audience and everyone's having the first time experience of this work, that is the most amazing feeling. It was just a, in, an incredible event over a couple of nights that showed what Mount Isa can do. And I think not only to the rest of the world, but I think a lot of Mount Isa people were there and going, wow, is this what we can do? We've got our own symphony orchestra. It was fantastic. <laughs>